Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. This is Keith. Today we'll be solving a question from IBPSPO Prelims 2023 question paper. The ratio of time taken by a boat to cover a distance in downstream to that of in upstream is 3 is to 5. If the boat covers 90 km in downstream in t hours and 72 km in upstream in t plus 1 hours, then find the downstream speed in km per hour of the boat, speed of the boat. So first from the first sentence, the ratio of time, time taken by the boat in downstream. So downstream time is to upstream time is in the ratio of 3 is to 5. That is time equals the formula we know is the consistent formula we always use here is DST. That is DST. To remember DST, it is distance. T for distance equals speed into time. So since it is given in time here, it is distance by speed. So time equals distance by speed. And speed in the case of downstream is so it will be downstream speed will be speed of the boat plus the speed of the stream. Whereas upstream speed will be speed of the boat minus the speed of the stream. So we are substituting all these values here. So which is, so time equals distance by speed. So distance I'm taking as D as it is by speed is downstream speed, which is SB plus S. Yes, that is the speed of the boat plus the speed of the stream is to same thing upstream time, which is D by distance by upstream speed is speed of the boat minus speed of the stream d by sb plus s s divided by i'm writing the ratio in the form of fraction so d by sb minus ss equals 3 by 5 plus d by sb plus s s times when it is in the division it becomes ulta it becomes inverse and so sb minus ss divided by d equals 3 by 5 which means dd gets cancelled so sb minus ss divided by sb plus ss equals 3 by 5 so which is cross multiplication 5 times the speed of the boat minus 5 times the speed of the stream equals 3 times speed of the boat plus speed, 3 times speed of the stream so rearranging this so 5 times speed of the boat minus 3 times speed of the boat equals 3 times speed of the stream plus 5 times the speed of the stream which is equals 2 times the speed of the boat equals 8 times the speed of the stream whereas the speed of the boat is equals 2 comes here which is 4 times speed of the stream. So this is one of the equation we have found so far. Now from the second set of data we have here is if the boat covers 90 km in downstream. So downstream data they gave and the upstream data they gave here. So again the same formula we will be using which is distance DST distance speed and time. So for downstream they gave and for upstream they gave. So which is 90 km in t hours and same thing for upstream it is 72 km in t plus 1 hours. So it is 72 km in t plus 1 hours. So even in both cases, so speed of the downstream speed, downstream speed and upstream speed. Now with this data to find the t, so we use the same formula which is d equals distance dst that is d equals distance equals speed into time. So where time equals distance divided by speed. Time equals distance which is 90 divided by speed downstream. Speed downstream is nothing but the speed of the boat plus the speed of the stream which is equals 90 speed of the boat which we have already found which is 4 times the speed of the stream so 4 times the speed of the stream plus 1 straight of stream is equals 90 divided by 5 speed of the stream next from the second set of data for the upstream it is t plus 1 equals 72 divided by the speed of the upstream which is equals 72 divided by speed of upstream is nothing but the speed of the boat minus the speed of the stream which is equals 72 divided by the speed of the boat is 4 times the speed of the stream which we have just found here minus speed of the stream which is equals 72 divided by 3 times the speed of the stream. So t plus 1 equals 72 by 3 times the speed of stream. Therefore, t equals 72 divided by 3 times speed of stream minus 1. This plus 1 goes to the other side becomes minus 1. Now we can equate these two equations which is this is the first equation and this is the second equation. So equating them which is 90 divided by 5 times the speed of the stream equals 72 divided by 3 times the speed of the stream minus 1. So which is equals so you can simplify this 5 times 18 is 90 and 3 times 24 is 72 so which is equals 18 divided by speed of the stream equals 24 divided by the speed of the stream minus speed of the stream so taking the lcm so ss gets cancelled which is 18 equals 24 minus ss so ss equals 24 minus 18 
which is S is equals 6. So to find the speed of the downstream, which is equals speed of the boat plus the speed of the stream. So speed of the boat we know here is 4 times the speed of the stream. Speed of the stream is equal 6 here, 4 times 6, which is equals 24. So we know both the values. So by adding that, we get the value of downstream speed, which is equals 30 kilometers per hour. Therefore, downstream speed in kilometers per hour of the boat is 30 kilometers per hour. Thanks for watching. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the